Get out the way. Oh. Let me handle this light work. Yoinks. Oh, yes. No. Why? Why would you do that? What's going on? It's your boy Sintel. The Intel and Rakai is in the building. What's going on, champion? Hello, governor. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. This is the Acolyte. Man, this is a very... A polarizing uh, season of of excuse me series uh, on for Star Wars as a whole. This is episode four. I'm curious to see what they do with the story. Please make sure you stay around to the very end because you know me and Rakai are gonna chop it up, have a bit of a back and forth, if you will, and you know, wondering we'll see if it uh, sticks to the landing. So without any further ado, let's get started. It hold on, it look sit right there. Uh, oh, isn't that the isn't that the from the yeah, yeah, that's from the witches. That's on Maze like, Head. And it was like it was like three times right there, like why? Why would Kelnaka keep each movement have tight, that yet subtle? Right? Yeah. It does have some questions. Back to the land of the bland, aka the Jedi. <laughs> land of the bland, I like that. <laughs> Maximize your defenses without need I do, li I do like strike. these uh High Republic uh robes. Oh, you know okay. what I'm saying? Like I I just think they're they're pretty clean. I think his uh, signifies a uh, like a temple guardian. Dara, okay. Rina, I want to see you open into stance before you leave. When are we? Is what I'm trying to figure out now. Remember, we're okay. We're still in the past. Roughly, Stay. Yeah. I've okay. done what I needed to do. You know what I just noticed in the previews, and I don't know why I didn't pick this up before, because I remember I was talking about how bad these little wigs are. Mm -hmm. But so on OSHA, they put this short bob dreadlock wig. But then Maze is long, actually, in places. It's long in the back and long on the sides. Mm, okay. I mean, you must be curious after all this time. May is the Jedi's problem now. And I'm not a Jedi. I feel you, girl. Get away from them folk. Yeah. Miss me. <laughs> That's how it is when parents drop their kids off to elementary school. But what you want to do with little Ray Ray? He your problem now. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> Say goodbye to him. I've caused him enough trouble. Or are you just gonna slink out the back? Yeah. <laughs> Some old punk stuff. <laughs> like I'm a dip. No, and probably too, because she know that Master Saul has a way. He probably say something to her. And she'd be like, All right, I'll go with you this one last time, but yeah. it's the last time for real. You know, that slow, methodical talking he does, you know. Osha, yeah, yeah. come with us. <laughs> I just need your assistance one time. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, yeah, you're definitely right about the hair. Yeah, see, I didn't even notice it before. I don't know why I didn't. I know bounty hunters won't set foot in these. Now, he's interesting. Kamar, Kamir, whatever his name is. Mm -hmm. That's his name? Yeah. yeah. He's interesting. I want to know and way see more the about him. clumsy thing he did. It was hard. That's a, that's a lie. There's one Jedi who doesn't want to be found. I don't believe that. There's something. There's something up with him, like because he was way too was clean when he got attacked, and he did that defensive move. Yeah, um, and got yeah, away. Yeah, I'm like, mm. to help you. So what's the deal with him, though? You need me. Don't trust it, girl. Doesn't change anything. You need to kill the Wookie. You made a deal. There's three hours of sunlight left. Let's get going. So he, is he like the evil version of Gollum and he and walking, you know, Frodo to 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 the mountain to atone or whatever? I feel like he's not really on know. her side. Like, yeah, I don't know what his deal is because that was like the second or third time that he rem he reminded her of, you know, you got to do this for the master. Or yeah, whatever. I feel are like you, she's being babysitted a little bit. With the twin sisters. Every Is that Kiyari Mundi? There. Yes. Yeah. Someone has trained her. But who? That is the first, like, throwback of a Jedi, like, from the, you know, prequels, original. His species lives that long? I don't see why not. It seems like everybody lived that long. Hell, except for the humans. This girl could become a major threat. She's not disciplined. Yet she eluded you. <laughs> Kill two Jedi masters. Two without a sword. He's like, well, well, she killed one and let the other one kill himself. So I mean, technically, she's one and one. 
Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, don't leave Next. that part out. I stationed on her home planet when she was a child. How odd. How odd. How bland. The High Council would be obliged to inform the Senate. A scandal like this would inspire fear and mistrust. We should handle this ourselves. See, that part right there. That part right there. And that's how corruption sets in right there, right? Uh, not that I'm not sure. No, because what I'm saying is, okay, so, you know, we know from the uh, from the trailers that the, the master or whatever is a Sith or seems to be, right? Thanks. I think so. If I thought there was, of course I would have. But I saw her fall. No one could have survived that. Mm. Now look, my man look back like... like... <laughs> Your personal connection with her and her sister is not a benefit here. She got the tattoo teardrops. It's only her own. You must know that. She like, you made me add another teardrop. Mm -hmm. She will not surrender without getting something in return. Do we have something she wants? Yeah, do we? Her sister. She wants her sister. That's the whole reason why she's killing everybody. Now, for just for a second, she saw her sister with her own eyes. Yeah, she. You engage unarmed, but can you use their saber if you disarm them? And the way he played with that stick, I don't trust it. Yeah, I don't trust him neither. I didn't. There uh, we we go. didn't it, exactly. I, I just owe him. You know how he is. He collects people. I've never seen his face. He collects people, huh? You know I haven't. Oh look. There it is. I don't trust him at all, dude. Like, yeah, you are to be like, sus. Yeah. What was she like when you spoke to her? She seemed in over her head. Honestly, she seemed really fond of that one Jedi Master. What was his name again? Soul. Mm-hmm. Poking the bear. Wait. Poking the bear. Wait, but in Osha's little short interaction with him, she didn't say nothing about Saul. Like, she was trying to pass herself off as May. How do you know that? Didn't he show up? He wasn't in the cantina or well, in, the, in the little hookup spot when they confronted him? I don't know. He popped up outside and fought May, but I don't, I don't know. I, I don't, yeah, I think, I think he did when they first captured him. But I remember uh, George doing all the talking. I'm sorry I didn't say goodbye. I, I don't know what I was saying before. I need you to come with me on this mission. I see. I told you. you. I knew it. The Jedi? Come with me this one time. Not official. Um, <laughs> I'm not officially using you as bait, you me, but so you, you are bait. Yeah, look, look, she called it out. So. <laughs> when I told May you were alive, her eyes softened. She became a different person. If you come. Yeah, she was hurt because she's like, you lying. I know you don't either. There is still good in her. The part of her really? that loves her. She's a murderer. The Jedi be tripping. Mm. Like, just go on and flip your homie. You hungry? We can get you some Burger King. She's <laughs> mm. been unresponsive to our warning transmissions. And look, there, is it a Plo Koon over? <laughs> what in the world? Yeah. I, what I was trying to say earlier, but I, I was trying to talk like when they wasn't talking was that, that that's why we haven't seen like, <clears throat> that's why we haven't seen Yoda pop up in this, even though we know he's alive. Right. Because Yoda's on the high council. You see how old girl said, no, nah, no, nah, we don't tell the high council nothing because then they have to report it to the Senate. Okay. That makes so, sense. you know, in the prequels, you know, in the prequels where they're talking about there haven't been no, uh, no Sith in over a thousand years, like in a millennia. And she doesn't listen to me. You need to stop her. I won't be able to do it. Oh, sure. Please. I can't hesitate a second time. You telling the Pope? I would have believed that first? haircut a little bit more if he had a fresh fade, but this, just, I just, it makes me angry. It's a creepy ass little force. It definitely has that Lord of the Rings vibe to it. I wonder if this is like. Uh, normally, I'd be like, they probably shot this in New Zealand, but because of technology today, you don't really have to make that flight anymore. Yeah, they could have done it on a on a 
complete digital sound stage. Yeah. Those volume stages. Yeah. But the thing is, okay, it's like a dark force, but that means there got to be something got to be in here to try to eat them, try to kill them, like kill these two. Some try to get at them Jedi. Like, there's a whole bunch of them little Jedi. The hell are them and not? They might as they might as well have uh, red shirts on because uh, <laughs> somebody ain't going to make it. Oh, something coming out them knots on them trees. Ugh. Yeah, it's like them trees have been fighting with each other and got scars. Yeah, the, the trees have balls. That's what's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know. And we don't want to know what lives out here. To the windows, to the wall, <laughs> to the sweat drip off my trees. Don't, yeah, oh. don't, <laughs> don't touch it. Don't, don't touch it. Oh, my ninja, please. Oh, skeet, 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 skeet. Ugh. See? Oh, you shit. remember those roly polies when, we, we, when you were a kid? Those little bugs, these yeah. little balls? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's disgusting. She better, she better be looking down. There's a whole. Oh, it flies. Oh, hell to the no. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Girl, get that gun out. If Yor didn't take it from him, George. Stand down. Watch them start touching all the other ones because they don't know. They get ready to get housed. You all right, it. and then pull the lightsaber. <laughs> What did it? Was it trying to get Osha or trying to get him? Like, it didn't look like it didn't even go for her. She's the one that's touching stuff, little girl. <laughs> Said it's attracted to the light. So the light from the saber or the light of, uh, their, of their internal goodness? Yeah, I, I'm going to go with the saber. That <laughs> internal. Look, look at these people right here. They're like, just let us see you. That dude right there in the front? Yeah, he's definitely red shirt. You're yeah, we don't man. know his name. Yeah, we ain't never seen his yeah. face before. He's a rap. So they make it by, she make it by. You know, it's hard to believe that that's Daphne King. I was able yeah. to sense that creature. Like, she don't even look. But I she don't feel, she don't look, she don't sound like her character in Logan. That's who it was, Logan. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, X-23, Logan. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're not defined by what we lose. We're defined by what we survive. Ooh, come, hey, hey, I, mm, that's a word right there. Mm. All right, I see you. Okay, that was a good line. Good yeah, line, that's a, a word right there. It was a bar. I, I feel so differently towards the Jedi now that I immediately dismiss a lot of their teachings now. I, I know I'm going to have to, like, overcome that. So everything that comes out of their mouth to me sounds like bullish. <laughs> yeah, and see, and I have felt like that for a long time, even though... At heart, I'm still, you know, on more in the light than in the dark. But I have always considered myself gray. Um, you know, that's why my favorite, my favorite Star Wars character of all time is Ahsoka. Because, you know, the bull-ish, she walked away. Unarmed. It's not a test. It's impossible. It's, it's not impossible. You know that. Yeah, because police kill unarmed people all the time. <laughs> Not according to the masses, the people that don't have that natural <laughs> suntan, they say them people got, they deserve what they got because they didn't comply. It's like a weird combination of like medieval armor and, um, and samurai armor because you see like the bamboo on the top. Mm -hmm. And then, you, but you got the chain mail on the side. It's an interesting uh, yeah. costume choice. Mm -hmm. That dude just keeps showing up. He is so ready to die. Great. He's vanished again. Oh, yep. Yeah. She dead, too. All right, there. Oh, yep, that dude in the back. Yeah, they. So. That's how you do. You go on a strange world to face, face something. You, you got to have. Some cannon fodder. Is that the tracker hollering like that? Me. Cause they done lost the tracker. 
Got him. Come on now. This 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 the Wookiee stomping ground. Y'all yeah. just visitors. Oh, wait. She walked out like she set that trap. She did. I don't need to do this anymore. I don't need to kill a Jedi without a weapon. I don't need to keep this deal. What? What? Okay. Yeah, she said it. Up I hell. knew it. Life changes everything. My oh. loyalty is to Ocean, not your master. What, what are you doing? I said that. I surrender myself to Kelnaka. Oh. And then turn myself into the Jedi. No, 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 stop, stop. Okay, that's surprising. It's 10 minutes south, right? The Jedi will put you in prison. Yes, they will. <laughs> I'll have to admit it. I did need you. Uh, hey. I said that from the beginning, where we never saw the master for the first, like, except for a glimpse for the first three episodes. Mm. I was not convinced that May was the villain, among the many other problems of this series. I don't know. Okay, what's up? Oh, is that a, some stone? Is that a tree? Yeah, like, what does he see? I don't see nothing. What is it? It's nothing. Mm. I don't know. It's a feeling. His spidey sense is tingling. His... You want ready. But I'm ready now. But I don't... Here's what I don't understand. Ready for what? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I sense things again in a way that gives me the courage to face her. Hmm. You're going to face your past. Both of us will. Okay. Once we get May safely to the ship, I'll explain everything. Yeah, see, I, I knew there was something else going on. He was rolling with some dirty cops. I wouldn't just walk up if, on him like Master, that. If Master I'd, saw, I'd, if Max, I'd be tread gingerly. Yeah, he probably got uh, traps. And all first trap. And there's little dude. Hey, little buddy. <laughs> he said, "Run!" <laughs> oh no. He's found me. <laughs> Immediately start, start telling. Oh, he's well, already he, dead. He can't be asleep. He moved. Is he dead? Dang! Somebody already uh, yeah. sabered him, huh? But look, hit, hit him with a saber. Too. So it's fresh. Yeah, it's still burning. Like smoking. He's here. Yup. Yeah. Now she just like seventeen seconds ago said. She wasn't going to go through with this. And the master's already here? What if it's uh, Khmer? What if he's really the master? The name of the Galactic Republic and the Order of the Jedi. <laughs> Inside that domicile. Is that his Miranda rights? Yeah. He... <laughs> yes. May Anasea. Yeah. Well, at least, at least they didn't do this like a no knock. You I'm know what I'm saying? I'm disappointed I didn't get a chance to see the Wookiee fight. Um, I. I'm disappointed in that. Because he was going to handle some stuff. Well, I mean, it would be cool to see how a Wookiee gets down as a Jedi, you know? Like... And wait a minute. But then not only that, so the master snuck up on him uh -oh. and took him out with oh, one yeah, strike. He didn't even get you. him out the chair. <laughs> yeah, it's the, they double tracked. Yep. Hey, are they flying? They're, they're flying. Look, how she he not? was like, I told you you had a job to do. I told you. What is that? Death. Facts. What is that? Hey, that mask is cold blooded, though. Identify yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I am police. Stand yes. down. Look, look, look. He getting ready to pull the stand pistol. down. They, they, they're saying all the police stuff. That mask is clean as hell. Look, he got yeah. a grill, right? Yeah. Okay. Woo! Oh, oh, my, my butt with a pocket right there. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Get out the way. Oh, we handle this light work. Yoinks! Oh, yes! No! Why? 
Why would you do that? If you're watching this on YouTube, you're gonna see a cut down version of our reaction because we're only allowed to show you a limited amount of picture in picture. But if you wanna watch the whole thing with us uncut, uninterrupted, head over to our Patreon page at patreon.com forward slash Sintel. Become a member of this channel. You'll get access to the full uncut reaction, but you will need your own Netflix, HBO Max, or Disney Plus subscription. So you can open up each episode in an adjacent window to our reaction. We'll give you a little time with a small reference video at the bottom of the screen to help you sync up the footage. And it'll be like you're watching it with your favorite pals from the internet. No! Why? Why would you do that? Why? Why would you do that? No! Oh, I... Come on! Y'all wildin'! Y'all limped us along and then gonna show How? us something kind of fly at the very end. Yeah. You gave us something nice in the first five minutes of the whole series, and now yo, they wildin' for we that. We were just bro. about to get to the. Come mm. on, man. Yeah, there's no post credit scenes. Um, yo, that's wild, man. So okay, so this has been a very, very controversial series. Um, it's a love hate kind of relationship. I definitely feel some kind of way about it. I've expressed my opinions regarding uh, some of the storytelling elements of it. And then there's other people that don't like it for other ridiculous reasons. Um, is this enough from what you've seen so far, as far as episode four is concerned, um, enough to kind of like sway your opinion one way or another concerning the first three that you've already seen? Well, okay. So this is, I guess, uh, since there's eight episodes, this is mid-season finale, right? We are pretty much at the mid-season finale, yes. Okay, so... This episode, I actually liked. I, To me, I thought that the last episode was the best one so far. I think this one's better. I mean, as much as I did like Mother Anasea... Okay. Uh, Jody, Jody Turner-Smith did her thing. Um, but this... I think I the surprising turn by May. Um, I, I think that makes this real interesting. Um, Saul saying that, you know, when we get back to ship, I tell you, see, that's what I'm saying. All them drawings is on our uh, Saul saying, uh, you know, I'll tell you everything it means there's some other stuff happened that we don't even know yet. And it's not as clean as as you know what we know of you know jedi in the future because remember this is one of those things and i think i hate that other reactors and stuff are forgetting that this is a hundred years prior to a lot of stuff and so you know a lot of corruption a lot of who knows what may have set in that caused the end of the high republic to get to the star wars that we know so they may have put in some more rules some more restrictions you know the whole, I don't know, because even right now, it seems like they're kind of devoid of their emotions. They don't seem like that, like they were in the, you know, original trilogy and the, even the prequels or whatever. All right. That's, 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 that, that's, that, that's those last couple minutes, those last couple minutes, though, right there, yeah. when the master showed up, yeah. that right there. If nothing else, I need to see the beginning of episode five. I got to see where that goes, because that... Hey, the master showed up on business. He ain't playing. When he flicked May uh Osha out the way and then threw all the rest of the Jedi's back, yeah. hey. I don't know what we're dealing with, but I can't wait to see. <laughs> yeah, no, I definitely feel that. I, I was I was that is great for an introduction into the, into the next episode. But then I'm starting to feel like is it gonna are we gonna get hit again with something cool and then we don't see the kind of like the payoff like in episode uh three. I know I think it was episode two when we, we end off when we get a chance to see, you know, the Wookiee Jedi. And it's like, oh my gosh, this is gonna be great. Um, because we're, you know, we, we can finally see, you know, what this, what, what can happen. And then we did a backstory in episode four, which was fine. And it was good to me. I think it was the best episode of the series as well, which is funny because no, uh, a lot I, of I people, think, hold, on, hold, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, because a lot of people were thinking that, uh, that episode was actually like the worst episode, at least according to like IMDB. So it was good to kind of see, you know, it kind of like for me, for, for me, this series kind of like get back on his feet and then kind of bring us, bring us back to. Um, something to look forward to. Uh, I personally did want to see the Wookiee. I, I know I, I'm a harp on this a little bit more because I have yet to see a Wookiee 
fight live as a as a Jedi. I think it's been done animated. I think we've seen an animated Jedi. Oh, Wookiee kind of do it. Um, and then we kind of like left it to, to kind of like a mystery. And I feel like we're going to be left again. Like something's going to happen. He's going to throw um, some kind of ninja smoke bomb, Jedi smoke bomb, and then disappear. We're not going to get this action sequence. I, I think I feel what's happening is that we keep being reminded that this isn't going to be like an action film or an action series, this is still a cop drama. Like, it is roots. It's mm -hmm. still a, a whodunit, you know? Yeah. Um, and we're gonna be left more with intrigue and mystery and unanswered questions like you had noticed with the, some of the uh, some of the drawings that was on the, the Wookiee's um, wall that match the symbols uh, that's on May's head. And then also we have some more uh, interesting unknowns, uh, including uh, Kamir, who was following May as some kind of assistant, maybe somebody that's running checks and balances from the this untold master. Um, so I'm learning to a listen to what the Jedi have to say, um, realizing that this isn't going to be an action series, uh, also realizing that this is a cop drama. So it's kind of like now there are that halfway point. I feel like the table's a little more set for my expectations now and i can mm -hmm. have more time to really actually enjoy what's being presented to me because i'm not gonna lie those first two episodes was rough that first one was very rough the second one was, was, was difficult it. you know and now episode four Ooh. is kind of a little bit more like okay this is the path that we're going down okay my bad i had to get that off my chest i <laughs> what, no, what no, else is on your plate no you're good because i agree with everything you just said i think um the one thing that was super interesting about this is, and I hope, I I, I do agree with this being like a, 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 you know, a cop procedural, you know, cop drama, um, just happens to be in space with space cops. Uh, I think the thing that was interesting to me, and hopefully what episode three and episode four have shown me is that it's hard to trust the, you know, the producers, directors, the writers of some of these shows in these universes that you love. You know, Marvel has let me down tremendously <laughs> over the last couple of years. Star Wars has uh, definitely on the movie front, um, you know, and a little bit on the, the TV front has let me down over the last few years. Um, but sometimes you got, you know what I'm saying? You just, you got to let them cook. You got to let them cook. And you know what I'm saying? Roll out the whole story. You know, we up in arms and all this stuff. And it's like, you know, it's like opening a book. And, you know, the first chapter, you'd be like, oh, this is bull. And then you go to write a definitive, you know, piece about the whole book. Like you read the whole book. You didn't read the whole book. Mm. You read chapter. We on chapter four mm. out of eight chapters. Chapter one was some bull <laughs> they gave us a couple good minutes and then they gave us some bull <laughs> stuff uh i'm you see i'm trying to stop I, my I, I, hey i appreciate uh, so much brother i'm trying to uh, be better <laughs> yes yes add restrictions we get it google we, we leave us it. alone yeah. uh, i know i know it's me i'm sorry uh, uh episode two was a little bit better but uh not by much it yeah. still was super mid yeah. um episode three is the one that really got people up in arms and i thought that was a much better episode um and then but it also forced me to look at the jedi in a completely different light um and you know it's one of those things too it's like huh. You know, you could have video evidence that there are dirty cops in the cops' midst. Yes, we understand that not all cops are dirty. But when you guys seem to completely ignore the dirty ones amongst you, or you know them and you just, uh, I mean, we just, you know, stay out of their way, let them do what they do, you know. <laughs> then, then us, the community as a whole, have a problem with that. Um, and that may be the case here with some of these Jedi. Like, they may not be as pristine and all that as, you know, we thought. Because who's to say that, you know, we saw it in Anakin, you know, and what people up in arms about, you know, Star Wars Space Jesus, mm -hmm. that he turned really quickly to the dark side. He's out here killing kids, and people seem to act like that didn't happen. Like, <laughs> in real life, 
like a dude who went in and just took out an entire daycare center mm. nobody would be like you know what he's still the best i like him <laughs> what <laughs> you know what i'm saying like i understand he transitioned to darth vader he is now damn near evil personified mm. and people are like ah oh, nah that's still my dude like you know oh okay you know i mean in all for all intents and purposes we should not like him at all mm. what people do mm. whatever you know people really identify with the sith and the dark side just like uh uh in harry potter people really heavily identify with slytherin and being evil when that little game came out hogwarts mm -hmm. the percentages of the people that were slytherin and loved it and used the, the you know the unspeakable curses yeah. was like astronomical more than anything else in the game mm -hmm. and i think that's kind of telling that people you know maybe why you don't realize things that are not right and not um not above board because you are already so heavily tilted to the dark side you don't even see it mm. uh i i am curious to see where this goes that i think that last scene with the master mm -hmm. showing up that looked to be incredible i was kind of i was trying to say earlier i was master saul looked like he uh started to get the feelings his spidey sense started tingling mm -hmm. and he felt evil he felt the presence of something because you know you can't just outright say sith you know they think sith have been gone for you know at least 900 years at this point right so but which is interesting we know the sith are not around because this darth uh darth tenebris uh darth plagueis mm -hmm. is around um you know and darth plagueis is sidious palpatine's master mm -hmm. they're around during this time the, what we're watching right now they are around the rule of two is already in effect. They are around. They're just not making themselves known. Darth Plagueis was very good. He was almost as good as Palpatine at Heidi being right in your face, mm. talking to you, and you don't have no. I'd like. And how do they do that? Palpatine was in everybody's face. Yeah. He is the darkest dude in the galaxy, and he just all in their face smiling. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I was like, man, y'all's Jedi powers is weak than a mug. Like, y'all need to, y'all need to go to some more trainings or something. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm curious to see what the, when the big unveil is gonna happen. It's probably not gonna happen until probably like the the penultimate, which is the second to last episode, and before we get a chance to see who the master is and then figure out what this mm -hmm. grand plan is going to be. I'm curious what everybody in the chat is thinking. Are you still on board? Is it is it getting better? Or is it getting worse? If you're listening to some of the uh, some of the numbers uh, on some of these critic sites, um, it's it's tentatively getting worse. But if you talk to people, um, you know, behind closed doors and you know, and having water cooler conversations, some people are are, are really enjoying the series. I've I've been seeing a lot of pushback on my socials that are counter to what the the loud minority is 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 saying regarding this uh regardless if you like the politics behind it people are just enjoying the ride with of this the star wars ride i found myself uh being a victim to um really not liking something and then missing out on something that might have been enjoying uh with obi-wan i thought it was a terrible series and because i couldn't get past the fact that it didn't you know meet my expectations i probably missed missed an the entertainment value of it as well i'm hoping not to fall into that same trap again and i'm from what i'm seeing on my socials people aren't they're like yeah it's got its problems but it's still star wars and i'm still having fun and at the end of the day regardless how much we break all of this stuff down are you enjoying this that's what matters who cares what i think who cares what rakai thinks who cares what rotten tomato says imdb every, every whatever your favorite reactor who cares what they think are you enjoying it? And if you are, let me know. Uh, let us know in the chat. We're just happy that, you know, we get the platform for us to, you know, voice our little low opinions about it. But by no means is it law for to determine if you enjoy a property or not. That's my last closing thoughts. Uh, Rakai, you got anything you want to close out with? Yeah, I think um, I have seen on the interwebs, you know, because of course we're a little bit behind and uh, just a little bit behind and watching it. And I think it's interesting that, you know, last episode was the worst episode ever. And these people, uh, you know, on the interwebs and I haven't really watched any um, any reactors, but just, you know, from 
titles and, and things like that, you know. They're just saying that this is the worst episode ever and um you know that Star Wars is cooked. And I was just like, I don't even know if we watching the same series. I honestly don't. Um because if anything, them last few minutes of this should give you some hope. I think this whole episode really was you and you know it like I know it. We talk about this in every series we watch. You're supposed to have a strong pilot. This did not have a strong did pilot. Did not. <laughs> and then you get some some action, some things that kind of pull you in episode two, maybe three. And then right when you get to the middle, episodes, you know, three, you know, four, five, six is where you do character development. You know, everything slows down and you do character development. I thought, if anything, this episode even with giving us some backstory in the last episode was kind of important to the character development part of it. Um, Osha's little talk with Jord about, you know, I can't do it. I can't face May. I, if, you know, she's a killer, she's bad. You know, she killed my mama and uh, everybody else. She burnt, you know, she tried to burn me down. She tried to kill me last time I saw <laughs> her. So, you know, if it comes to that, she don't want to go peacefully. I'm going to need you to take her out because she's not good, yeah. which it's interesting that they're twins, but I mean, I guess, you know, last time I saw you as a little girl, you did try to burn me alive, you know, because you didn't want me to leave. It's, hey, I'm done fooling with you. Uh, you know, the talk between um, Jackie and Osha, um, even the little talk between Saul and, and Osha and stuff, and you know, and May and, and Kamir, there was a lot of character development done. Uh, May's surprising turn to turn herself in because she's wants to only be loyal to osha mm -hmm. that's not the same little girl to try to kill her sister like something else is going on mm. here mm. that i'm not even oh oh i just thought of it you know what i'll, I'll say that i'm a, Was she under the no, influence I of the no, master at such an early age to mm -hmm. do such dastardly deeds and now she's turned a new leaf i don't know i don't know that's interesting or decision. or when she tried to kill her sister burn her alive uh -huh. was that her own doing or was she under the influence of one of them witches yeah. remember oh, her the witches mother anasaya hmm. one of maybe mother anasaya remember when she took uh control of of torbin mm -hmm. just to show him listen this ain't what you want mm. Mm. maybe one of the other witches because that's why they didn't look like they were burned they were all dead but yeah. What was happening? Maybe one of them other witches is the master. That's why they come floating in. I don't know. There's a lot of things that could be happening, but we got character development in this one. And you, the strengthening of certain characters' bonds. I was never convinced that May was the bad guy. Wasn't enough of a villain for me. Right. She had a revenge arc and she got started on it, but now she's willing to give it up. I'm willing to see where this is going. And I think that. Any real Star Wars fan would let it cook. This does not destroy Space Jesus and all the other prequels. I think a lot of this informs how, and them trying to hide this uh, particular incident from the High Council because of emotion, Saul's emotion to Osha and maybe even May. I think that informed and made them have different kind of rules in the future, okay. 100 years in the future. I don't know. Anyway, okay. I will definitely be doing a deep dive on this particular episode. And if you want to find me and some of the other deep dives I have about some of the other wonderful stuff we do, movies, um, we just did a great, a great uh, reaction on Centel channel here on this movie seven. But wait, I can't believe I never watched that before. <laughs> so, I, so I did a deep dive that I'm about to drop. Uh, of course, you know, our Doctor Who stuff. Um, come find me, New from the Ville, N U P E F R O M D A V I L L E. Because listen, when we watch this stuff, you have got to use this right here. But if you really in tune, then I know that you're using this right here. I love that. That's a great, that's an absolutely spectacular way to, to, to uh, close this bad boy out. When watching and dealing with things Star Wars, you, you got to use this. Make sure you go out of your way. To
go check out a new from DeVille's page. Don't worry, there's a link to it. You can get to it quick. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Uh, for those in the, in the comment section, let us know what we got right. What we got wrong in the phone one is uh, what did we miss? I am looking forward to seeing what some of your Star Wars theories are. Throw in that tinfoil hat and tell us uh, how you think this bad boy is going to turn out. Thank y'all for your time and we will catch you all next episode. All right, y'all take care.